You all have something cool up. I don't know if there's if there's it, context. I'm, this I'm one, intrigued. are we seeing it? I, I feel like it kind of builds on it a little bit of like the search understanding. So this is a, like an actual castle that exists, I think, in Germany. And I think something exciting is it's grounded on what it understands mm. from the castle. Wow. But it also hones in on the skill that like started with Nana Manana, but it's really gotten way better, which is like spatial understanding mm -hmm. and dimensions. So we're getting to a point in which we can annotate what we know about it and display it to a level of fidelity that gets really, really exciting. I so feel like say, this oh, with yeah. our, our floor plan yeah. Yeah, we've remaking, got we've got to <laughs> remix that with Nano That's Banana cool. Pro yeah. and see. I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can do it live, but I'm, I'm intrigued <laughs> if we can. Living on the edge. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. yeah, I think one of the things that's super cool is, is not just the search grounding about how well it can contextualize information. I was thinking just earlier this week, we were making a big product architecture decision and we took the PRD, put it in Nano Banana Pro <laughs> and it generated an infographic sort of like explainer of wow. the space. And I think those are sort of the use cases that just help you unlock a new way to view information, which mm -hmm. at least I wouldn't have thought about as the ways I would apply an image model. Uh, but it's such a cool new way to look at problems and contextualize information that I feel like both images and long text outputs, it's just so good at making sense of it and presenting it in a very like beautiful, understandable way. Yeah, yeah actually, even when we were planning this week um, and like launches, Josh Woodward, mm -hmm. he took like our launch calendar and like our plan for what we were launching and he saw this put it into cool. Nano Banana oh, nice. yeah, this was and turned it into this like Pro. really nice visual of like cool. what we're launching when, with, cool. like what pieces and what key oh. things. And it was actually just honestly so much nicer to visualize <laughs> than the bullet point list that I had originally yeah. created. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. That was the first Nano Banana Pro example that I saw and I was like, well, okay, it's going to be a good model. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. yeah. One of the things actually I want to do as well is I know uh, this is my feature request for the docs team. We got to send this. We got to keep them coming by. <laughs> These live streams are just feature requests. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> slides that we're, we're rolling out with slides right now, which is super yes. exciting. Right. I'm more of like a docs first user. So I would love, and I don't use AI for writing because I, I have a, like a personal attachment to my writing, mm -hmm. but I would love to be able to like make the visualization. So for people yeah. who don't want to read what I have to write, they'll just look at the picture <laughs> at the top and be like, oh, this is much easier. A than DLDR. Top, yeah. yeah, the ex bit. new exec summaries are just Nano just Banana Pro yeah. images. I feel like that'd be awesome. Cool. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm happy to like never yeah. make a slide again. <laughs> <laughs>